And then everything you say to tell people to do and people tell not to do, you turn it on its head. It's okay. like, you know, it's all about sort of bad lighting, you know, and, and it's things like under lighting. Like normally when you're taking a, pa a fashion shot and you're trying to make someone look beautiful, the last thing you want to do is shine a light from underneath. Right, you know? right. So, but for Halloween, it's perfect. Halloween, it's fantastic. It looks ghoulish and it's very easy to do. <laughs> you can take, turn the flashlight on on your phone yeah. and just flash it underneath someone. Right. Put a flashlight underneath their face. And here's one I took earlier just outside using two phones. Right. So, These are our audience our members audience today. Audience yeah, you look in great. In the corridor as I came in. <laughs> All right. Now look at this one. I really love this one. This is particularly good. Yeah. Again, overhead what did you do here? Lighting. Overhead lighting is one of those things where, you know, you know people are often like, oh, fluorescent lighting looks dreadful. I took a picture of my daughter in her school and it's all the overhead fluorescent lighting. Now that has a green blue tint, which normally makes you look sick. Yeah. But on Halloween, sick you is good. Look sick. <laughs> sick, good, pale, it looks fantastic. Oh, there you are with your kids, right? Well, yeah, absolutely. This is not a fluorescent in the whole light. And I t tell people as well to use the all those programs you can get to desaturate the pictures, to make them look funky, all those uh, filters and mm. apps. Go for it. Have fun on Halloween. You can make these crazy, really goofy looking pictures. They work. I took a great shot of you guys out there. You sure earlier did. With a wide angle lens and the same thing. And it, it, you guys all look totally crazy. There it is. Here it is this right shot. before the show. On the phone, on the new iPhone 11 Pro. And it's that wide angle lens. Go in tight. The last thing you do on someone's face normally is go in tight with a wide angle lens. Right. But in this instance, it works. It's about sure having does. fun. It's about you know using all the, the sort of advantages the new cameras have on these phones and making fun of it and don't forget to record them make a photo book make a card make a calendar use my free app what's Mimeo that app photos. called again mimeo photos mimeo. mimeo photos all right we'll check that out all right so you gave us up lighting gave us some fluorescent lighting what about strange light sources strange light sources like things like refrigerator doors i love those they're kind of spooky oh. opening opening up the refrigerator door the backlight the sun you, normally you're like oh it's glaring through the lens allow it to glare through the lens. Like, you know, all of that light coming into the lens makes it look spooky. And it can also make it look ghostly. Mm. You're all backlit and sort of, uh, as a result, it looks kind of fun. Yeah. Looks like a spirit coming That's from behind. Yeah, nice. very cool. A and the other thing is just angles. Angles is big. You know, if it, like, let me see. I've got one of your little cameras here set up already. I'm going to show you if I come down here, mm -hmm. yes. and, you know, to make someone look kind of even more d d sort of demonish. Right. <laughs> and get inside. Boom. Oh my goodness, you got, and the balloons are adding to the effect. Super. <laughs> so by doing that, by <laughs> that taking these scary angles, I know that the laugh really helps people. <laughs> you know, it's not just about taking the picture, it's about the laugh. Right. Getting into character. But by ch taking an angle that you wouldn't normally do, really low, really high. And again, if I was to come down and you like that, with that balloon, it looks really weird. And I can go through the balloon. And oh my goodness, yeah, look, it's just oh. totally scary. <laughs> Everyone has a camera on their phone, or I, as I like to say, a phone on their camera, quite frankly. Exactly. <laughs> because these are really cameras. They're such good cameras. I am the creative director of Mimeo Photos, which is a free app um, that is available in the App Store. We create books and calendars, and I'm doing this masterclass with them for Apple at Michigan Avenue this Saturday. Very nice. And it's about how to use these new phones and how to create you know, great pictures with a phone. Because let's face it, there's over a billion people out there taking pictures right now and putting them on Instagram. I have to ask you about the second season of Top Photographer. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very How's much. How's it going? What do you expect? Good. Working on it. it you know, it's, as I mentioned, there's so many people who are taking these fabulous pictures. So we're casting through Instagram. So get ready, Instagrammers. We're going to be out there looking for wow. new people very, very soon. And, you know, it's, it's so interesting how the eye has been unleashed on so many people because they hadn't got the you know big cameras expensive cameras right. they couldn't do it so they couldn't show what they were capable of now if you look at instagram you see just how good people are and the talent they have it's like giving a kid a pencil for the first time in their life you know giving them a camera on a phone yeah. now you've got brilliant photographers right but as a professional photographer you're embracing this which a lot of people would say hey don't 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 step on my toes here there are people out there and there are a lot of professionals who don't like it who are upset by it but i'm like guys look if as i mentioned if you never gave a kid a pencil and they never drew they never wrote anything down they wouldn't have a, an understanding of the art form but what we're doing is allowing kids the opportunity to, to see that they can take a good picture. Maybe later down the line, they'll buy a big camera or whatever, but that doesn't make the photographer. It's the eye, it's, it's the ability, the and it's giving someone a chance and an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what this has done, is giving people a great opportunity. Mm -hmm.